Our refinery has a, a rich history and a long tradition. We uh, produce uh, motor fuels and transportation fuels here in the Midwest. Uh, we account for approximately 25 to 30 percent of the transportation fuel production in the Midwest. Uh, we're currently about the, I, I believe we ranked the, the seventh largest refinery in the country. The biggest complexity with regards to executing this project was essentially we were building the seventh largest refinery around the fourth largest refinery while it was operating and continuing to supply the Midwest with, with motor fuels. The logistics uh, was incredibly difficult to manage. There were millions of feet of cable that had to be pulled. Much of it was power, much of it was control. But pulling the power cable up into the cable trays was extremely difficult. Me and my crew uh, built the gantry crane, the Coker gantry crane. Uh, it's a robotic crane system, automatic crane system. It's one of the first in the United States. That was our primary job. It picks the coke up after it comes out of the coke cutting drum and puts it into a crusher where it pulverizes it and by conveyor takes it to a storage section. It was pretty intense, pretty intense. We're trained professionals, but there are a lot of things out here that many of us had never seen before. But BP and Mead had joined together and put in the, uh, they call it the EDT, the electrical display trailer, which was like an orientation for especially travelers coming in because we had a, a lot of travelers working here. We wanted to have something to show uh, all the new hires that come out, uh, some of the uh, installations that they're gonna see on the job site before they actually get out there and hurt themselves. We got pretty much every kind of installation you can possibly imagine, from the lead cable on all the way down to the fiber optic instrumentation. What they make here is gasoline. Therefore, with that product, you know, being a hazardous product, uh, explosions and, and issues like that are always a possibility out here. So you have to be very tuned in to the installation techniques that are required. Can't cut corners here. No. People came out here knowing what they were doing, building a world-class facility. I mean, the pride shows with the craftsmanship, the quality of work that went in. Every guy uh, had a lot of pride doing it. You know, everybody talked about it, and they always talked about it with their families, and then, you know, families and friends and stuff that would come to visit. You know, they'd come to the parking lot just to look at it, you know? So it's huge. People who aren't on the job, you know, and you, you're out living 20 miles away and you can tell them, you try to explain just how big the job is, that there were over 10,000 construction workers on one job, you know, and a lot of us live in towns that aren't that big. We've been in this refinery for over 30 years and we've had really close relationships with, with BP and I think with the help of the IBEW uh, craftsmen here, I think we've proved over and over again that, you know, the team Mead Industries and the IBW Local 697 can get the job done. They can count on us when the going gets tough, and I think that's why they uh, had to stick around for the project. IBW has been here in Northwest Indiana for over a hundred years. Uh, we've had a great partnership with them all throughout that time. I tell these guys, uh, there's no job in the world that we can't build with this crew of people that we have, and I mean it sincerely.